Yo, what's up all you action figure lovers out there? Master Marvel's back at it, bringing you another action figure review of the DC Multiverse. Batman vs. Superman Lex Luthor. Um, of course, this guy is one of the ones that's been opened already to build my doomsday that I sold. <laughs> I'm going to need to get that guy back. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I never did mess with the figure, so... He's coming out of here for the first time. Uh, yeah, let's get this guy, give this guy a closer look. Because I kind of like it. Just don't know how much I like it. Damn it. Rubber band. Bands. All right, let's get these shackles back on him here. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm already wanting to do something with this because <laughs> uh, I mean it's cool, but not cool enough for what it is. Like it has potential in another area a lot better. But uh here's our Lex. Prisoner style Lex. Bald head shaved. Got the bell rev penitentiary on the back. So that's pretty cool. Uh got the Jolly Ed jumpers on. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to see if I can do it. I don't know. Oh. Trying to remove the head off of this. I've seen customizers do it, man. It don't look like it's going to come off easily. So maybe I don't want to mess with it. But I was only going to take this head and switch it with the, uh, the Jesse Eisenberg, the hair one. Right here. To make this my ultimate bald headed Lex. That's my idea. And then with this prison jumpsuit one, I was gonna go ahead and put like uh, the Netflix Frank Castle head on there. That would have been dope. So I'll have to try to figure out a way to get these heads off without destroying them. I'll try the hot water or whatever, but I need to be able to see what I'm working with too before I go pulling on that. Same with this one. Yeah, ultimately, that's where I want my bald-headed Lex Luthor head. But, I mean, I like it. It's cool, too. I mean, these are all removable here. These shackles, they do come off. There's little pegs on the back here where they just kind of snap right into it. Or plug right in. So, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's cool to have some shackles for our action figures. I mean, there's not much else to it. I mean, uh, it isn't great articulation or nothing on this. It's not, well, yeah, it's not terrible, but some of it's there. Uh, I mean, you could even, of course, if you put the shackles on something else, it's not going to have those plug-ins on the back to snap it, you know, but it'll still work. Might as well do a little comparison here. So here's our Lexes from the uh, MCU, or the MCU, the DC Universe, Cinematic Universe. Jesse Eisenberg, ladies and gentlemen, that's our, yeah, uh, I, yeah, I don't say, I don't think it looks exactly like him, but it's, you can kind of see it, at least in the bald-headed one, I don't know, it's a little bit there, 
So, I don't know. I guess I'll probably just have to leave it for now. Not mess with the head swaps, at least unless I have another one of these, but I don't. So, probably won't mess with it. This is officially the last one that's connected to the Batman vs. Superman movie, so. Just had to go ahead and get him out of the way. Um, I like it. Basically, I just like the fact that we got a an action figure that's in a jumpsuit, you know, and there's potential to it, but this one's probably just going to have to be left alone. If I ever want to do any customs, I'll just have to order a couple more of these. Something to play with. Yeah. Hope you guys like this little video, this little review. Don't forget to click the like, comment, and share. And uh, yeah, if you're watching, you're watching on YouTube. I'm Master Marvel 80. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.